In our last video, we made the four hour trip from Kochi to where we are right now, Moonar. How lucky are we to be here, Samantha? We're so lucky. We decided to opt for the more local style of transport as we took the public bus, costing us just two euro. And the price was only 350 rupee for the both of us, which I think is brilliant. Moonar is a small town hidden away in the mountains of Kerala. It's famous for its tea plantations and its stunning scenery and no visit to Kerala is complete without visiting this beautiful and unique town. We thought the best way to explore Moonar was a 7am trek through the mountains and that's exactly where this adventure begins. Ready to go and hike a big mountain. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Oh, it's very misty, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, Hello. Hello how are you? Fine. And you? Yes, good, so good, good. So it's currently half six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in a brick shop. I'm shocked we're up this early. <laughs> After climbing our own personal mountain by getting up at six o'clock in the morning, Oh my god, I can't move. It was time to make the short trip to Moonar Town to meet our local guide, Cherie. Right. Our guides had meet them at the bus station. At the bus station, so we just have to try to find them now. <laughs> What's your name? I am Sri. You? Uh, Keelan. Keelan. Yes. Samantha, five hour hike. Five hours. I hope. I think it's. Is it five hours well, there and I'm back? Yeah, five yeah, hours in total. I think hours. we get yeah. back at half twelve, so yeah. it should be like. It's just two after and seven half now, yeah. Hours there, up, and two, hour, right. two and a half hours back. What difficulty level is this hike? Is it easy? Uh, medium, hard? medium. Medium. All right. Okay. It's not too difficult. Not easy. Not more hard. Okay. okay. Sits in the middle somewhere. Yeah. You can feel it. It is steep enough, isn't it? To begin with. Like, uh, <laughs> these are all the tea trees. Yeah, they're lovely. Aren't they? They're gorgeous, aren't they? To look at. Yeah. yeah. So we're actually walking through the, the tea plants now, <laughs> and it's funny because we were looking at these little paths and we were driving by, and looking over the view. Yeah. Now we're walking. Now we're walking through them. As we continued our trek through the tea plantations, Shuri gave us a brief introduction to the process. So what's the different teas? Black tea, white tea and green tea. This is the white tea. Okay. Green tea, black tea, normal leaf. Ah, okay. But the harvesting, only the light green leaf only. So obviously, yeah, Samantha was saying, this is a famous region for the tea plantations and we can actually see some. What do you call that, Shuri? Just like the, the technique? Scissors oh, so scissors cutting, right? Looks like hard work, Shereen. Yeah. Is that right? Difficult? Yes, that's right. Hard work. Hard work. Not an easy job. Not an easy job. Now, next time you have lovely tea, Samantha. I appreciate know. the work that goes into it. I know. <laughs> Us being Irish, we absolutely love tea. Yeah. <laughs> you can see, now it's a light green. Oh, yeah. Top of the leaf. Above the leaf. Oh, the light green. And that's the one they pluck. Yeah. That's <laughs> the one with all the flavour. Yeah. As the trek continued, we moved away from the tea plantations into the more mountainous area. This is where we came across our first minor issue, leeches. Wait, so what's the likelihood of finding leeches? Do you know the leeches or not? Yeah, I know them, yeah. Right, so we're walking through a little bit more of a more wildlife environment. It's not so easy anymore. Uh, Shari was just telling us as well that there is a chance of some leeches, so he's asked us to took our trousers, our long uh, leggings or whatever into our socks to stop them from climbing up, which is my mm, I don't like this part. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as you can see here, it's starting to get a little bit rough. Oh, I think there'll be hoods up as well for the mosquitoes, Samantha. Oh, Jesus, Keelan. <laughs> oh. Samantha, you said let's go to India. <sighs> now we're in India. This is the sort of the ground that we're on the ground is actually grand, it's not really unsteady or anything like that. 
it's just there. Oh, we're coming out. What's you say, Shuri? 50,000 hectares of. Yeah, 55,000 people like this. 55,000? Yeah. Oh my god. Too much. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> and do you know how many like leaves would go into one cup of tea? Oh, one cup of tea. Maybe leaf means maybe five leaves, something. Five leaves like that, something goes into one cup. God almighty. One leaf like that. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> one leaf means maybe we can make the small small pieces make the powder ah, okay yeah. maybe one glass less than one spoon right uh, maybe the quarter spoon the one glass i guess tea is okay but if you make the black tea we need a little bit stronger we need our little we need bit more leaves more leaves yeah the sorry the black tea less leaf oh milk tea we need to meet we need the more leaves. Okay, make it stronger, yeah. Yeah, we have the milk tea a little bit stronger. Yeah, I get you. And why about the clouds now? Okay? Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> You're disappearing, Cherie, <laughs> in the clouds. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beautiful. So anyone need any photo from here, the rocks? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, I will take the photo. That's unreal, isn't it? Oh my god, it's something else. Look at that view. Absolutely. Oh, it doesn't even look oh, real. Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Something else, God. How lucky are we to be here, Samantha? We're so lucky. like this I feel really really lucky. Time like this I feel like getting up at six o'clock in the morning is a good it, idea. I feel great already like I'm at sweating the time, I'm I don't. getting up but like you feel so good once you know, stop yeah. then for a minute it's like this is great I, I want to keep going like good. it is it's a high real five. good feeling high five. Shri was just telling us there that, uh, I think that's how you say his name, Shri. He said it was like at the beginning, you know, Sri Lanka, it's the same as that, but so hopefully it is Shri, but uh, he was just telling us there that I think he thinks 40% of India's tea comes from Munar. So obviously Munar isn't the only place in India that actually has these tea uh, fields. But yeah, he did say that 40% is coming from here. I think he also said as well, depending on what tea you want, I think it's like three, four, maybe five leaves per one cup, which is a bit, it's a bit crazy considering you see them picking it. They're probably picking you know, hundreds and thousands a day. Also as well, when they do pick them, a truck comes and uh, drops it off to the various houses and things like that for it to be obviously processed. So uh, I don't think they have to carry the bags too far, but I do know he did say that it was difficult to work with not great wages. So that's a bit. I think that's crazy, isn't it? Like, there's not great wages in it, and like the tea business is so big know, all over yeah, the world. Yeah. And yeah. you look at them, it's hard, it is tough work. Like, the incline that they're working on, and like the amount of it, I'd say they're working for hours yeah, in a yeah. day. Like, yeah. do you know that way? He was showing us the little huts as well that they stay in, so yeah. they accommodate them as well. Yeah, so they live in a in a house. They live in like these houses all together, but like I don't think they have private rooms or anything like that. It's just very yeah. much like all the workers sort of together it's in a house in, yeah, and then yeah. like on very little wage. So it's mad, like you know, but to see it for real, <laughs> looking at them working, I know, that's what I picking said. the leaves is crazy. Like next time you drink a cup of tea now, have Appreciate a think of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we made our way high into the mountains, the clouds started to take over our view. It's getting very, very cloudy. So. Hopefully when we get back further up we might get better views but I think the clouds are coming with us so they are getting high as we are getting high. <laughs> We're getting high Samantha. <laughs> and thankfully our guide Cherie was on top of the leech situation. Oh is that that's one there? Yeah. Oh. I'm standing on them. It's mad. Small one, here one. Right. Oh, they're tiny. Yeah, they're all in between my laces. <laughs> <laughs> they're so small, I wouldn't even yeah. spot them. Yeah, it's oh, leeching. Stop now, I'm getting all itchy. How am I looking, are we? Yeah, yeah. What leeches? Leeches, if it, the only insect that doesn't climb on me. All good now. 
Let's go. Maybe I will check. Yeah. Check yourself. After all that leech talk, it was time for breakfast, which Cherie had organized at a nearby view on point. Nice view. Yeah. <laughs> I figured out what one of my fears is. I never thought it was, but I'm like, as we're traveling. Yeah. When it becomes rock and steep. You have to, you have to go on your hands and knees. Yeah, I just kept panicked. Yeah. But I did it, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. So, plan now is to stop in for some breakfast that's provided with the tour as well, which is great. Bit of energy, as he said. I don't know, I have a feeling we're gonna get tea. Yeah, maybe a little breakfast bars, <laughs> I'm thinking, a little like energy bars. Yeah, I'd say. He'd be in his backpack, so something basic, but something <laughs> just to give us a little bit more energy, yeah. Yeah, because we, we haven't had anything. We haven't had that, and I thought we might have been able to get a nice coffee this morning, but that didn't really work out. So, whatever he has in his bag, that's what we're eating. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Two more mountains. <laughs> Lovely, I was delighted to hear that. So, time for some breakfast. What are they called again? It's chapati. 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 Where did you get the food from? My wife, she's prepared. Your oh, wife yes. made the food? Yes. How lucky are we? Oh, this is our setup. <laughs> so thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I got your wife has made this soup. That's so nice. <laughs> Just have to walk in another bit there. We put the camera away for a bit because it started to rain, but it's dried up again. It rains on and off. But I think this might be the, the highest, highest point that we're going. I don't know because we stopped another bit then. At, at yeah, another point. At another point. Yeah, so yeah. he did say there was two more. So I'm thinking this. We'll go up now and find out anyway. But yeah. it was <laughs> it was tough and okay at the same time. Like it sort of evens itself out. So you yeah. might get a bit of an incline and then it stays sort it's of flat. flat for a while. Yeah. So it's I'd call it like medium yeah. level yeah yeah it's maybe, been fine maybe. like yeah, yeah. Oh, okay so that wasn't the top <laughs> we have one more to go and we can actually see it here in the distance behind the clouds if you flip the camera around you probably won't see it we can see it <laughs> the highest one it's up this way up here so we have to climb that woohoo <laughs> nearly at the top <laughs> read that in Samantha fresh air that fresh air Top now. Lovely. So this is the highest part. Yes, sir. This is the highest part. <laughs> this is the highest one today. Yeah, oh god, it's some view. How high up are we? Now almost to uh, nearly two thousand. Nearly two thousand. Wow. That's high. Yeah, that's a nice breeze. <laughs> Going us right down. This is the highest point that we will be on this hike. Oh, I can't believe we made it. <laughs> We can cross trekking in India off the old bucket list. I love this kind of thing. I like this is a great way for us to see a place, I think, these hikes and these treks. It's just so peaceful and quiet. There's no, we haven't seen one other person, just the people on this tour. It's just beautiful to come up here and just relax, take it in, breathe in some fresh air. No noise, just the, the sound of the wildlife. Yeah, it's a great tour. I'm delighted now. We, we took the four hour bus journey to get here. And I'm delighted that we got up at 6 o'clock in the morning.
That's really cool, isn't yeah. it? So you can stay in a tree house. <laughs> Yeah, a little stairway, the way it goes around. That's deadly. If you like, you can stay overnight here. <laughs> stay overnight. Yeah. How much? 10,000? Per day. 10,000 rupee a day? Yeah. To stay in there? Yeah. After we made it back down the mountain, Cherie brought us into a secluded little cafe for a tea break. This is quite nice, isn't it? Oh, little tea stop. That's lovely. Surrounded by all the... Oh. The tea fields. Yes. <laughs> it's lovely. Uh huh. Is it here? Yeah. Lovely. Lovely masala chai. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Although Moonar is famous for its tea production, Sheree had some pretty interesting things to tell us about the coffee situation as we stumbled across some beans. After harvesting, then you to dry. If you dry the red color out layer, it will be removed. Okay. And then uh, inside we can see two coffee bean. The two coffee bean one more time they will be dry. The one more out layer it will be removed. Then make the roasting. After roasting, they make the powder. Wow. Coffee here, two types of coffee. First one Arabica, second one the Robusto. This one is the Arabica. This one is the first quality. Robusto, it's the second quality. Right. So you heard about some uh, coffee luwak. Do you know? Coffee luwak. No. Some Indonesia, some animals eat the coffee bean. Uh, oh, like the weasels. Yeah, That's some animals eat the coffee bean, then they will oh, collect no. the poo, oh. then drain, <laughs> then it make the powder. That's, That's a joke, one. is it? That one, no, it's the world is, real. World is expensive like. coffee. Really? What well, happens? Say that again. So so they, have, the they have one in Vietnam where they like, um, like traditionally, they'd like go through the woods and they'd collect the weasel poo that had eaten the coffee beans and they roast it. But like sadly now, there's a, just a lot of sad weasels that are kept in... Oh, they're food. just using so them. So me and my friend shared a coffee and it was like maybe the best coffee I'd ever had in oh my, my life. And God. I really consider buying some, but the weasels look really sad. Yeah, they're kind of exploiting the weasels yeah. then, are they, for that? Mm. That's incredible. Yeah, but Jesus. Yeah, it's really, really good. Really? I think there's a bunch of like weird little enzymes in there. So. Mm. So these are the actual beans. That's mad, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen coffee beans before. Yeah. So on that note, it was time to finish our trek and head back to Munar Town. They're the footprints of the bison. Are they the footprints? Is that what we said of the bison? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> well, we might see some bison. <laughs> Where we got one last look at the tea plantations. How long have we got left? Uh, almost two will finish. Nearly 10 kilometers. About 10 kilometers, yeah. So over an hour? Yeah. Yeah? Walk. Then after that we need to walk only the this like tea plantation walk. Oh yeah. It's really nice this walk though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a big maze. Yeah it is, it's lovely, isn't it? But they're all they're they're literally in a perfect line. Yeah they're the way the hedging is done on them, isn't it? Like yeah. they're all it's perfect. It is, yeah. <laughs> It's the lightest green ones yeah. and they pick them and then they turn, it's the process and that they turn it into white tea, black tea and green tea. I managed to step in the world's largest piece of cow <laughs> And we shared a rickshaw with Cherie as we said our goodbyes. Bye. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Thank you sir. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Nice. And you? <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. What a nice fella. Uh, he's so nice. Yeah. So back to clean and peel and stew. So we hope you enjoyed our trekking adventure right here from Munar. We're about to head back to Kochi now because we have our first overnight train in India booked to take us to Goa. got so many comments of recommendations on places to see in Kerala and unfortunately we are under a bit of a time schedule so yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up you can also follow us on Instagram for daily updates at go time travel we want to say a big thank you to Cherie from Moonar Trekking Adventures and if you're in Moonar go and check them out to keep up with our adventures through India please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one from Goa